this next product is a great simple little bracelet to make using uh, just a leftover piece of leather. I've just got about 24 to 6 inches here um, and that's for a larger size wrist. I've got some beads with a large hole, some jump rings. These are 6mm beads and 6mm jump rings and just a little button. The first thing to do is just thread the leather onto your button and up one side and down the other and bring the leather or the button I should say to the center of the leather by just putting the two ends together and then just sliding it along and then I'm going to make a little knot here uh, just to secure this leather in place on the button and just a simple overhand knot left over right through the middle and then just bring that knot up nice and close to the bead and the easy way to do it is see I'm keeping my finger inside the loop and that way it'll travel up easily to where I want it to be and then once I get to the end I can just pull it quite firmly all the way up. So once I've got my knot in place and you can take as long or as you know short a time as you want to get it a nice neat even knot but it's, it's this is a quick easy bracelet so you don't have to worry too much. Then the first thing we're going to do is just thread a little silver bead on one of the strands and then I'll bring both strands together and thread on my 6mm jump ring. Then looking at the strands I'm going to now thread a bead on the opposite strand. So I'll pop that on. Oops. And slide that down. Then bringing both strands together again thread on another jump ring over both and let that slide down too. And see that gives me a nice little repeat pattern of the beads and it still shows off the leather and the jump rings hold the strands of leather together. So now I'm going to go back to the first strand, thread on another bead, slide that up, bring the two strands together, slide on a jump ring. So it's as simple as that. So I'm just going to continue along now putting, see now there's the bead on that one, so I'll put a bead on this one. So I'm just going to continue along in this manner until I get to the desired length I want. So it's just threading on the jump ring and then a bead on the alternate the alternate one. So it's on this one, so now it goes on this one. So I'll just continue along until I've got um, the length that I need. Now you can see I've done quite a few here and if I put that on my wrist it makes quite a nice little bracelet. But I also thought there's um, a, another option you could do which you might prefer and uh, you know it's really up to you but it's just a different design element and what I thought would be very nice is because these jump rings hold things in place quite nicely is you could actually do a design where you just group a little bunch of three, three beads and jump rings, and then have a, quite a big space between them. And, and I think I rather like that too. And that way you see more of this lovely leather, which I rather like. So that's another option for you. So you could either stay with them all close, or you could use less beads and just space them out like that which will give you a softer look and you know and on your wrist actually that's quite nice too. 
Now I finished laying out my beads and I decided in the end to space them out a little bit more because I rather like this colour green leather and I wanted to see a bit more of it. So all we have to do to finish is I have measured it now um, around my wrist. So basically if I put the button here and bring it up, basically it's quite easy to see that the beads just come to where the button is and I, it's still you know loose enough for me to wear so I'm quite comfortable with that fit and then I'll just put my finger here and make a simple overhand knot so I'll just show you that again it's just a simple loop and you can just keep your leather flat together make a loop bring it through and pull it through up to the last bead Once I've got that in position, then I can just measure out my button and I see that my button is about that wide so I want my last knot to be about there, which is really just a thumb width really. So I'm just going to do another loop and I've got just enough leather, I was quite pleased with that. And then just bring that up. and make this knot here. And now the only other thing I can do is before I pull this up tight I can put a drop of my glue in there like you've seen me do before and then I'll just pull it up tight. Once that's glued all that remains for me to do is to snip the end and there's my finished bracelet. Now I've also got one here that I made earlier where I've kept all the beads together as I showed you in the beginning and I've also used some gold jump rings now obviously um, these probably won't move but if they do move around a little bit that just gives a little bit of interest to the bracelet so it's really up to you whatever finish you like and you, of course you could just do a whole bracelet with just a couple it's, it's really just a simple design and uh, uh, something that you can make in probably 10 minutes mm -hmm.